Let us find the value of square root of i. See that if we solve the equation x square equal to 1, then we get x equal to 1 comma minus 1. If we solve the equation x square equal to i, sorry x square equal to minus 1, then we get x equal to i comma minus i. What about the equation x square equal to i? Obviously we expect x equal to plus minus root i. Now observe that since uh, now observe that if x is a real number, then x squared is also a real number that cannot be equal to imaginary number i, so x cannot be a real number. If x is not a real number, then it might be a complex number, so we write the complex number i in polar form. So x squared equal to i, now we write i is 0 plus 1 into i, and 0 is cos 2n plus 1 times pi by 2 and i is i times sine 2n plus 1 times pi by 2. Okay, we got both the number in polar form. Sorry, we got the number x square in polar form. Now, the objective for writing the complex number in polar form is we want to apply de Moivre's theorem. Let's recall de Moivre's theorem. By de Moivre's theorem, cos theta plus i sin theta to the power m equal to cos m theta plus i sin m theta. What we are doing is that we are multiplying angle by the power. Let's do same thing here. First of all, we have got x square equal to cos twice in plus 1 times pi by 2 plus i sin twice in plus 1 pi by 2. So x equal to cos twice n plus 1 times pi by 2 plus i sin twice n plus 1 times pi by 2 whole thing to the power half. Whole thing to the power half. Which by de Moivre's theorem, as we said, de Moivre's theorem, we, su we should multiply the angle by power. Power is half, so multiply by half. So we multiply by half, and then we multiply by half. Rest of the expression we copy as it is. Cos uh, twice n plus 1 times pi by 2. We are multiplying angle by half, the power is half here, plus i sine twice n plus 1 times pi by 2. That can be simply written as cos twice n plus 1 times pi by 4 plus i sine twice n plus 1 times pi by 4. Let's take n equal to 0. If we take n equal to 0, for n equal to 0, x equal to cos, oh, I forgot half here, pi by, oh, it's pi by 4, I wrote it correctly here. So for n equal to 0, this is equal to cos pi by 4 plus i sine pi by 4 and that's equal to 1 by root 2 plus i by root 2. What about n equal to 1? For n equal to 1, x equal to uh, 2 into 1 is 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, so cos 3 pi by 4 plus i sine 3 pi by 4. That's equal to minus 1 by root 2. In the third quadrant, cos is negative. And so does the sine. So we see that square root of i equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 plus i by root 2. However, someone might argue that square root by square root of 1, we mean just plus 1. 
Similarly, we have got something called principal value of square root of i. Principal value of principal value of square root of i is that's corresponding to n equal to 0, 1 by root 2 plus i by root 2.